Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends and family, it's your boy GP Reviews. I am in the Apple Store in Arlington, Virginia, the Clarendon Store. And today I am doing an unboxing, but I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to have to do part of it um, here and part of it at home. What I'm getting today is I'm getting a new MacBook Pro. And then I'm also getting Dre Beats, uh, the Power Beats. I'm going to unbox this one at home uh, just so you can see the setup process, see how easy it is. Um, my Mac keyboard, I had a 2016 Retina Display Max. It looks exactly the same actually, but it um, the keyboard failed on me today. So, and I still had an Apple, Apple Care, and they were going to fix it. And then I realized my Apple Care was going to run out this summer. So I was like, uh, let me see if I get a new laptop. So I was willing to invest the uh, $2,100 to get a new laptop. But guess what? Apple has this program where you can trade in your computer, trade in your devices, and they'll give you credit for it. So they give me $800 for my old laptop, which is it's not bad for three years old. Um, that basically covers a third of the cost of the laptop, and um, I'm going to get a new laptop. And so we'll see what happens, but um, I'm in the setup process right now. Uh, let's get at it. Okay. Right, so the one thing I would say is make sure if you do replace your laptop, if you have an Apple uh, MacBook, make sure that you do your, your time machine backup. So I hadn't done it in a while, so it took a couple of hours. But now when it does it, once it does the update for the iOS, um, it will back it up to be the same machine I had before. Like I said, my keyboard died today, and so that was um, problematic. But um, Apple made it super easy. I called them. I had Apple Care. They said come to the store for 45. I was like, ah, so I might as well get a new laptop. And so I'm getting a new laptop, and um, hopefully it'll get all set up today, and I'll be able to upload all the videos today, and then maybe you'll see them sometime this week. So I'm gonna upload them today, but I'll probably release them Monday and Friday. But we'll see. Um, I have a few other videos I need to work on. Anyway, uh, I will update you as it gets further along. A few moments later. So I get my iPhone, my uh, the iPhone, my uh, time machine backup, and and I made sure the one thing you want to make sure is you have the newest iOS when you do the backup. So I did the backup, and uh, what I found is that the new laptop didn't have the newest iOS on it. So now I'm in the Apple, the Apple Store updating the iOS, and then hopefully I can get my backup to start going forward. It looks like it's working, so you guys can see it. So it looks like it's working. I will give you an update as we go along. It hasn't been that long. I think it took about oh, it's 44 minutes. So in 44 minutes, it should be to the point where I can actually do my time machine. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, images for my new Mac. So, hey, I'll hit you guys back. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Um, the process of updating the iOS is done and now it's moving to the transfer file. So, I forgot to record that part, but it's pretty straightforward. It'll ask you pick the disk. I picked my backup disk, which is my time machine, um, and then from there it'll say select a file. I selected the file, which was the file that had my my backup on it, and then it'll go through and evaluate everything. And then that's when it gives you an opportunity to pick things that you don't like. So it says all your apps, all your files, and then it lets you have a, it has an arrow that you can click that uh, gives you a drop down menu of things that you can select and not select. Like this time, I selected not to put uh, I selected not to put some movies back <laughs> that I had, some photos back that I had, because it was just taking up space and they're already on my other backup hard drive. So I decided not to put those back. Hopefully it doesn't mess me up. And then I decided not to put back uh, some movies, photos, and there was one other type of file that I decided not to put back that I didn't need. And then there's a, a random guest profile that I had that was taking up like uh, 600 megs. I decided not to put that back either because I didn't need it anymore. And then, um, uh, then it says click to move forward. I move forward and um, then it started. And so when this started, it was at 40 minutes, but then it actually does a whole bunch of stuff really quickly. And then it ended up at about 25 minutes. And as you can see, it's processing pretty fast. The um, USB C, surprisingly, and this is a uh, SSD drive, pretty quick. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if that is super, super quick, but 83 megabits a second. 
it seems quick to me. So hopefully in 21 minutes, my uh, laptop will be back to where my other laptop was before I um, had my keyboard failure. So um, I'll be back. One eternity later. So I got the screen that said I finished my uh, migration. And then it says restarting and then bring it back to here. So you can see my computer is ready to start. So I'm going to try to log in, see what happens. And then I'm going to end this video. So uh, it was about an hour and a half process. Once I have my backup done, once I had to update the, uh, the uh, iOS, and um, I'm done. It looks like it works. I was able to log into my account. So, um, hey, the process was pretty straightforward. Uh, buying a Mac, trading it online, and picking it up in the store, straightforward. And the uh, Apple folks were amazing. So, I got a new MacBook Pro, and uh, you know, I'll let you know how it goes. My old MacBook Pro was good. I had some issues, like I said, with the keyboard. Um, and I think there's a known issue with that. I hope this one doesn't have that issue, but I got I, was, I got pretty much almost uh, probably three years out of it, two, two years and nine months out of it. My Apple Care is about to expire, so I think I did all right. My last MacBook, which I still have, is the 2011, still works. Um, I think this is a fluke. I think, like I said, I think the keyboard was the problem, but the trading program makes it super easy. So basically, I got uh, one third of my value back for the laptop that I'm going to send in. And you see the price here. I got it for $17.99. So actually, the price of computers have come down since I bought my Mac in 2016. So. All right, well, it's your boy GB Reviews. I'm going to put this one up, I think, this, either tonight or tomorrow, but yeah, I'm out. So, because I had to sell this new laptop, uh, this is the last part to the video, this is an addendum, but it's going to be a kind of a unboxing, fake unboxing, because I had to unbox it to set it up. But pretty much, uh, and I'm trying to do this on the fly in the Apple Store, in the box comes... The new MacBook Pro, which is the Retina display with the touch bar and the Touch ID. You got the cord, which is here, and uh, your power brick. That's it. I mean, Apple's clean, man. They keep it clean and in the box, and so you're good to go. So I would say definitely get your new MacBook. I love them. It's my new MacBook Pro, Retina display. Retina display. Um, you know, hey, not much to do. And then we're going to do the, un the Power Beast Pro unboxing just so you can unbox and see what's in the box and then see how easy it is to set up. We're going to do that today. All right. Uh, with that, uh, we're out this time for real. Later. Subscribe, but like, but no.